So today I am going to do my first attempt of doing a home chemical peel. Now, most of you that follow me know that I only get professional chemical peels uh, from my esthetician, Ronnie, who I miss so much. So I now I'm going to attempt to try to do a home peel. I did a lot of homework on this. I have about two months and the best product that seems to be out there is from a company called Platinum Skin Care. And these are the peels that I have right here. Uh, the CEO of Platinum Skin Care, Jennifer, uh, I have to tell you is excellent. She responds to any question that you have immediately. Uh, I have been bombarding her with questions on how to use things and which ones are great for, you know, acne scars since what I have are called boxing scars that I got uh, from having severe nodular acne when I turned 40. So now I am 50 years old and I have been dedicating the last few years to skincare and trying to heal my skin. I learned it a little bit too late, but you know what? Better late than never, right? Uh, Jennifer's been great with responding, like I say, to everything. I joined her Facebook group. So if you're interested in any of these products, uh, just head over to that group, see if you can join it because I've learned so much about chemical peels and different types of products for your face. This is not sponsored. I bought all of this with my own money and I wanted to demonstrate it for you today. The chemical peels that I'm going to do today are called TCA peels and they're one of the strongest peels uh, that you can find. I'm going to use three different types of TCA peels. Uh, their percentages are going to be different, but it's all going to bind together. The first one that I'm going to use is a 30% TCA peel. Now, the 30% TCA peel is mainly used for your body because of course, we have thicker skin on our, on our body compared to our face. You should never do your entire face with a 30% TCA peel. It's a very, very strong peel. The way I'm going to use it is called the CROSS method. CROSS stands for Chemical Reconstruction of Skin Scars. And what I'm going to do is that I am going to take a wooden pick and I'm going to Go inside and press inside of my scars. That way it penetrates in deeper and it produces a lot more collagen to help bring in the scars up more. So that's how I'm going to be using the 30%. While I do the 30%, then I'm going to do a 13%, which is what you would use uh, all around your face. That, I don't want to start with anything higher. You can do 20%. Even though I get professional chemical peels that are really, really strong, I have never done this at home by myself. So I'm going to proceed with caution and I'm going to do the 13% and see how I do with it. The last one that I'm going to do as I'm waiting with the 13% is I'm going to do a 7% and that one is going to be for your eyes and it is safe for your eyes. I am really looking to find assistance with these hooded eyes. My hooded eyes are getting worse and worse. I tell everybody I'm going to have to get clothespins to hold up my eyelids so I could see because they are really coming down. They're going to be calling me droop along soon. So I'm going to do a 7%, which is great for your eyes because it's low, but it's still a TCA, which is again, one of the strongest peels that are out there. So wish me luck. Let's get started. I have a darker skin tone. I did prep my skin with a pigment and 
inhibitor uh, called Fade Bright. And I use this twice a day. And the reason that you would use this is because we have darker skin, we are, might get dark spots after a chemical peel. So we have to make sure that we treat our skin um, with a pigment inhibitor so that we don't get those dark spots. So I did this for two weeks. I also use my tretinoin and I um, use that all the time, every night. I did stop it on Saturday so that I wouldn't have too much irritation. So right now, I'm going to wipe my face down with alcohol and let's see. I want to make sure that we clean all of our face now. This is done in my esthetician's office. So I'm going to do my face, my neck, and my decolletage. So You know, this is alcohol, so, whoo, Lord. Woo -hoo -hoo. I have to get my asthma pump in a minute. Let's get under that chin. Still working on that double chin there. And don't forget to do your decolletage because that. Also, ages. And I know a lot of people forget to put sunscreen on their chest area. I don't wear makeup, as most of you know, but I do wear a lot of sunscreen. That's why I always double cleanse. So I want to make sure that there's nothing on here. So now this is the TCA 30, and I'm going to put it in. A little medicine cup and um, now I had to improvise because I didn't have the wooden stick that Jennifer said so I did cut a toothpick down and then I just smoothed the rough edges there so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to start On the scars so I'm looking for my deep scars I'm gonna push in and I'm gonna push in I'm looking for the deeper ones right now and this is how I'm gonna do this and after I do all of this, I have to wait five minutes. And I'm going to look for frost. If I don't get a lot of frost, then I can do it again. But I could see I'm already getting frost. So I'm going to keep going here. Now you can see that I have a lot of scars. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to do both sides and I'll be right back. So here I completed uh, the cross method right now. Um, as you see, I have so many scars here. See them here so you see all the frosting. I try to hit as many as I could, but um, I do have a lot. So I try to get the bigger ones that I do have. So, okay, so now I am going to use the 13% TCA uh, peel right now. So we're going to put it 
I am going to actually put gloves on because I don't need my fingers to peel. And I'm going to add it right over this one right now. So I have my gauze and we're going to squeeze it. And okay, so I am going to go here and here. Now I'm going to wait five minutes and I'm going to do another layer again. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. And now as I wait for the five minutes, I am going to start prepping my eyes. And one of the things that you need to do is to protect your eyes with Vaseline. So a little bit nervous, but I trust Jennifer from Platinum Skin Care and she showed it. She has such great tutorials on YouTube. I mean, if you're really interested in doing peels, which peels are just the best anti-aging um, procedure out there. I, I love chemical peels. They're just great. Okay, so five minutes have passed and now I am going to go back in again. And squeeze and I'm gonna go back again. For the second time around, I am feeling it more. And right away, I'm gonna go in with my seven percent for my eyes, and I'm gonna squeeze. And now I'm going to use my mirror. And this one we really want to squeeze. We don't want this. I'm going to put this on my eyes. I'm going to go underneath here and get the crow's feet. And the hooded eyes. Just go around your eyes. little handy dandy right here because my forehead is bumping right now Woo! Alexa set timer for five minutes five minutes starting now see you then okay so I'm all washed up now <laughs> so I took everything off um, I am feeling a little bit on my cheeks I will be scabbing up on my cheeks in the next few days. I am going to use emu oil. Now emu oil can help reduce the appearance of scars during the healing process. Oh, as well as assist in preventing new scars appearing because it can break down the scar tissues both internally and externally. And its anti-inflammatory properties can help reduce itchiness, redness, and pain. Well, that right there is my chemical peels from Platinum Skincare. And we'll keep on watching. I'll try to post. As soon as I start the peeling process, I'll start posting day by day. You know how my skin is doing. I'm really, really curious to see how this cross method works. Thanks for joining me. I hope this helps. If you're interested, uh, go to Platinum Skin Care. Jennifer, again, like I tell you, she's excellent. She answers all your questions. She has great tutorials. And try to join her Facebook uh, page. I'll be there. So hope to see you there. Thanks for joining me.